What's up, guys? Welcome back. Final Back Nine 2024 Auburn Open, Auburn, California, presented by the Auburn Chain Zombies. My name is Spanky Edwards. I'm here with my buddy, Dan Double N Turner, and we are about to see some fire coverage yeah. from this back Welcome nine. back, guys. Probably the harder of the back of the two nines. Definitely. We got Raven Newsom coming out of the Hot Springs, North Carolina. That's somewhere up in the Smoky Mountains, I think. I've been out there maybe near Asheville or something. Um, super sweet part of the country. Yeah, we've got a really tight race, too. They, there is, for sure, guys on the chase card and even third card that are not out of the mix. So definitely... You know, excited to see these guys try their best to stay on the top, but also excited to see if somebody can come from behind and yeah, maybe definitely. surprise them, you know? Let's give them the leaderboard. All right. If you didn't see the end of the last round, we got Anton up top, one stroke ahead of Raven and Matt Parker, two back of that. Same with James Proctor on chase card. Jake Brown, four strokes back, but anything can happen on the back. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, I think that, you know, like, really coming down the stretch, those final three holes, these guys are going to be sweating it, you know. Any, anything can happen. I just hope everybody bangs. I'm here for the I would, I'm here for I would hope so. Definitely here for the birdies. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're moving right into hole 10. A little uphill. Hopefully nobody goes into the bathroom. Looks like the door's closed today. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Raven, the stock hives are a little flex. That just seems not, like the play, right? Yeah. Finishing right a little there. right of it. Oh, just whatever you're comfortable with, it kind of goes straight and finishes the left. Now, this he is in danger. Like yeah, this is leaking. That is out of bounds. Mm -hmm. So he's going to play that from where it crossed out at. Now, with Josh out of bounds, Matt is really trying to pump this one in close. And you think he seems like he hates it. Yeah, that kicks off a tree right. Yeah, he scared somebody in there. Now Parker smells blood in the water. Hopefully he can get close. I mean, Raven's just outside the circle, maybe circle size. This looks good from Parker. Catches up some cabbage there late, but he... Uh, right about circle's edge, right? Yeah, he's going to have, have a look for uh, Birdie. Gosh. Oh. Hmm. Uncharacteristic of him. But he'll have that for bogey. Matt for a long birdie. Definitely gives it a bid. He should have music in it for par. Oh, here's Parker. Yeah, what was this, 40 feet? Just pushed it out the right side there. Josh from 38 feet. Oh. Good putt, just a little bit high. He'll be taking double bogey. Is this Raven for birdie? You guessed right. And now it's Raven for par. <laughs> Here's Matt's par putt back at it after running the birdie. It's in there. He's still going to get two on Josh here because Josh is double bogey. Raven is the same here. He's going to get a par. And uh, after this hole, Matt and Raven will be tied for the lead. Um, Josh and Parker two bag. Hole number 11, downhill. One of the shorter hills in the course, but uh, they beefed it up a little. It's an island green, elevated basket. Um, a lot of these guys are just throwing lawn darts with the forehand. Yeah, the elevated basket for sure is going to, you know, it just adds that just enough element, mm -hmm. like you said, on a short hole for these yeah. guys, just enough to make it a... Yeah. Legitimate part of me. Especially of. for me and you, but like these guys on tour, I feel like you do watch this called Pro Tour. I mean, it's like, yeah. is every basket elevated? I don't know. It feels like it. Like, <laughs> it does. Here we go, Parker. Well, wow, Parker wasted no time. Dog walker was from right behind the basket. Yeah. Anton, the forehand. He doesn't love it, but it should be right there. Or maybe he just walks off when he throws good shots. I don't know. I think he just goes fast. Nice drive, Josh. So 
So if this is the farthest putt out, everybody, that means that everybody put it within like 25 feet. So I'm going to go on a limb and say star frame coming, but stranger things have happened. Fingers crossed. Just trying to jinx everybody. Some of this looks further away. Yeah, I think he's just, you know, on the backside, so speed of play, but Josh doesn't miss putts. Let's be real. Yeah. And this guy's not, not too fond of anywhere else but in the chains. What year was it that he was the putting world champion? Matt Bell? <sighs> wow. You're putting my brain to work here. I know there was... Uh, there well, I am a disc golf fan, but I'm not a disc golf historian. Let's take a look. Let's see what the internet says. All right, we got hole 12, par 4, 6, 10. Oh, that is early into that tree. Still rolling. Oh, wow. So we're actually good. moving pretty well. Wow. Yeah, we've been seeing a lot of... Rulers for sure, but also the placement shot. The placement shot is the worst just to take the three. These guys are throwing rollers to try for the two. Um, I we've st I think we've yet to see the two, at least on coverage. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if anybody else got it. This looks pretty good, or is it too good in cut left? It seems heavy on the cut, yeah. Yeah. I think that was a good route. Like we said, you know, they're 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 rolling it for the for the help, but Josh going roller. This looks pretty good, but it's cut it's, right. Yeah, He's it's not turning be, a little early. You know, he'll have a chip, but it would be sweet to see somebody get close. Here's Raven second, just throwing a forehand. Parker from here should make quick work of it. Yeah. Wow. As anticipated. Now Bell's got kind. Of, he's stuck up against this uh, this shed here for the park staff. Let's see what he does. Looks to be pretty clean. Like I said, these guys they they throw they lit on the roller, and if it doesn't work out, they the approach just seems pretty standard for them. Yeah. Yeah, Anton's going to be the furthest away with a 18-footer, 15-footer. Coming up next, we got 425 technical shot, par four. You know, most par fours are longer than that. It's kind of a two shot hole. We haven't seen anybody get close yet. It's a downhill flick. Raven with the lead first on the tee. That looks high to me. Hopefully he can fade the OB on the right side. Oh, maybe he kicked left actually. But yeah, there's OB lying in the creek on the right side, so. You, you know, you're better off, like, turning it over almost. See Matt kind of going with an aggressive uh, chopped line. Ooh, that, that hangs on. See, there's the stakes there where that OB is. Yeah, he's fine there. This hole just, you know, from this angle just seems, is there a line? You know, it's, it seems so heavily wooded. But. You're claiming it's an unfair way, Spanky? <laughs> Nah, it's there. There's a couple gaps, yeah. and it's not super long. I love it. Come on. That's heavy on the cut. That's fine. I, I want to see somebody like get close, though. Yeah. Didn't you? I mean, yeah, look how far away the basket is from Raven's shot here. Not oh. too far. I cooked it out of bounds. Oh no, with the lead there. Maybe was that too much disc with that skip? Dang. Uh oh. 
This one looks dangering OB too. Oh, stay safe. This Bell's Drive, this is pretty solid. Come on. I'll have an easy three there up and down for a birdie. Raven goes OB, so this is a par putt. Oh, God, is that par or is this? Yeah. No, I think it came in slow enough, but it, I mean, I mean, the stake might have helped him. I don't know. Josh, little easy threesy. Yeah, I haven't played this course in a few years, Maggie. So, like, this bridge and this creek, I'm like, you know, they, where are they? They, they clean, you know, they, they cleared out a lot of the blackberries. It's a pretty cool addition to the course. Yeah, because the last time that, that we had played it, they actually were playing like over the water. The previous hole would have played Yeah, the T was the different, yeah. yeah. This would have been like the next hole. Or yeah, nobody got a two on this hole today. A lot of threes, a lot of fours, and some worse. And some worse. That's where the OB comes in, though, I think. Or maybe an early hit to OB. You know, you kind of just get worked. Hole 14, 240. Pretty simple. Just putter approach shot. Uh, it does play as an island, so there's uh, you can land on the hazard. Um, and then you play from your lie, you know, with a penalty stroke. There's no drop zone. And there's a fence long into the ball field. After yesterday, you're like, oh, Parker, man. this looks pretty good. Just right short of the basket. He's in the circle. Yeah, and if they skip over the rocks, they're just fine as well, right? Definitely. I mean, there's a fence, but it's hard to go over it. Anything but two here, and, you know, these, you know, these caliber players are not stoked. Yeah. A lot better last time. And this is essentially a jump hut. <laughs> yeah, 240 feet, Smakey. Keep dreaming. Maybe you jump it in your dreams, you know, <laughs> from 240. This is an ace run from Raven. He was watching that oh one for a while. Oh, my goodness, he stayed safe. Yeah. And no relief because it's hazard, huh? Um... Yeah, that I guess that makes sense. Yeah, because, like, if you're out of bounds, you can't, like play from out of bounds right but if you're in a hazard, hazard then yeah. you obviously play from the hazard so yeah no I'm relief from the hazard line either way he was technically inbound so he'll be tapping in a three taking his par yeah was not about not an inch off of the hazard line so yeah safe. that's birdie from bell Parker, kind of a funky lie here on a rock, straddling out. But he's close enough. That's a two. So Raven dropping a stroke to the card here. Oh, that leaves Matt up top with 20 under. Josh and Parker just one back of him. Four holes to play. Hole 15. This is the hardest hole in the course, I think. I mean, even for par, it's like you're happy if you get a par. Um, through the first two rounds, we had zero birdies. Do you know what happens this round? I haven't seen it yet. Have you? I have not. This is all new to me. Okay. Well, that looked pretty good. That cut right. But it was I know there's a wall of trees late. He did kick, take a little kick down. Mm -hmm. Not sure. Obi, Obi, you can see with Obi starts right here, it just kind of lines the whole fairway on the right side. Whoa. Parker trying to get aggressive with the forehand, kind of kick straight. I don't, he might be pinched up there. Josh playing a tight forehand. I think this looks pretty nice good. Thank you. He's got, he's got to play through there. Raven reaching forehand. A little wide on the left. Oh, gets clean. We'll see. 
Yeah, see up here on yeah. this. There's another. There's another pin up here. I've played this pin right where kind of where they are in the middle of this dirt. It's probably why like where Josh's drive went to the right a little bit more. It's maybe what you're hoping for. Oh, yeah, yeah. we'll stay in. Well, it stayed in bounds at least. Raven, super convoluted. He's like looking through two different windows. Like, what do I got? Yeah, so maybe they see if he can. A little, little too hard, a little too straight. Good oh, shot. Good shot through there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. He's gonna have an inside the circle putt for par. That fell. Well shot. Like you said, par is fantastic on this hole. Yeah, this hole averaged 4.2 today. So, wow. So, 1.2 over a over. stroke over par for on average on this hole. This is to show you how nasty it is. And we got like 80 people playing. Parker threads the gap, no problem. So if the field's averaging 4.2, so you know, a three is uh, a stroke on the field. A four isn't even losing a stroke on the field if it's 4.2 average, I guess. Huh? Uh, we're kind of right there on the but, uh, that average know, on this card. We have two pars and two bogeys. Yeah, so these guys don't care about the field, though. They're trying to beat each other. No doubt. Oh, welcome back. Premium Disc Golf. We, where we are filming from. Also, if you guys are in South Lake playing some of these... Amazing courses, come check us out at Premium Disc Golf. Well, Chase oh. Card checked in here on the 17th tee. James Proctor, Hello. 19 down, just within a couple of the lead. Looks like he parked that for sure. Matt throwing a little turnover. Mind the bottles. Why? I hear nothing. Pretty crappy, but. Here's Raven. Looks a little too straight. He seems to not hate it. He's just like, stay right there and I'll play it. Yeah. And, uh, he's yeah, going like, to have a little reach out forehand from there. Like we said, if you go too far right, you actually have very different options. Whereas yeah. they kind of slightly straighter. Yeah, I remember I loved somebody's forehand, Marwi's forehand the other day. Yes. And then he ended up having to go yes. over the top, but it wasn't like a real open gap. Parker kind of sliding up to maybe right around where Bell was, maybe a little better lie. I think he's really going to like that one. Mm -hmm. Now to the left of this B tree is the gap here. He's just looks like a mid-range uh, little forehand. This should be pretty good. Ooh, very the good. tower. And yeah, with the tall grass, you can even just throw, you know, whatever you want back in there, and it'll stick. Yeah, no worry about the Josh doesn't have a window. Way. He's going big Anheuser over the top. Good luck, Josh. Is, is it a roller over the top? Oh, wow. Uh, we'll never know. But he'll play it from there. Here's Bell shot. So he's he's so he's not that pinched. He's gonna throw a hyzer in. Okay, yeah. That that might be your landing zone right in there. There's Josh's third. It's a little turnover putter at it. And he's trying to make it because, like, we're getting down, we're running out of holes. He'll have that for par. And then Matt will be putting for birdie. Parker cranks a little midi flex in there. Couldn't tell him. Is that Parker right in front of Anton? 
It seems like it. That's him just in front of the back foot. <sighs> what a bad. Right off, off, off. Yeah, it was him. Yeah. Right him. yeah, so essentially the same putt, one foot closer. Yeah. So, I mean, Parker and Josh is going to make a bogey. Parker needs this. He hates it. That's a bogey. So they're both going to be dropping two if Bell can can this. And, I mean, this guy puts lights out, right? I mean, his drives on fire. Buddy puts lights out. Buddy puts lights out. Nice birdie, Matt. If you know you know. He's got some pep in his step. He knows he got two on the boys there, and they're running out of holes. Raven will have this for a three. Still two back of Matt with three to play. It seems like a really good three to get. Uh, yeah, I'm this not, is a pretty... Not, not sure what the average came in at, but um, definitely a, a very specific tee shot. That if you're yeah. not in the landing zone, you're mm -hmm. going to have... No, for sure. Hole 16 was playing over par, uh, averaging 4.3. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, a, a, a fantastic three to get then. Definitely. Even, if, you know, 80 people on field field, 530-foot par four, and it's averaging over par. So that is a uh, well-categorized par four, I would say. Yeah, hole 17. Well, he kind of hates it, but he's like 50 there. He can run it, but then there's the cliff behind this hole. This yeah, I think that was a really good, like a well-thrown shot with that yeah. nice slow turnover. Mm -hmm. And I think if he's six inches to the right, he slides right up to the basket. Raven throwing a forehand here. Sorry to jump it on you, oh, Spanky. You're good. So he threw a fairway driver last round, and he went down the hill. So he, he clubbed down, but then kind of yanked it straight. Yeah, maybe a little nervy about jumping off that cliff, but that's, that's very far left. Yeah. That's going to be, for sure, a layup. Definitely. There's no way you're running it with that steep downhill behind it. Parker with a nice forehand. Yeah, keeping it. Oh, mm. maybe down that hill, but yeah, he kept I that nice and left to give himself the largest amount of space to skip Definitely. right towards it. Now, Matt and Raven um, are a close competition on this card. Uh, they both kind of push straight to the same area. Here's Ravens for birdie. Yeah. Didn't have a look, really. We'll probably see Matt next. So, I mean, on this card, Matt's closest competition is Raven, but James Proctor is on fire right now. And uh, he, birdied, uh, he birdied this hole along with the one before it to get within one of Matt. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, we saw James's drive on this a little bit ago. Right. Yeah, that, that birdie took him to 20 under. Is that correct, or 19? 20. Oh, wow, okay. Like we've said in the last two rounds, being down there on your drive is great. Being down there on your second shot, not so great. You're not stoked. Parker gets the par. Yeah, great. You know, great comeback up that very, very steep hill. With pretty bad slippery footing on those leaves on that dirt. Right. It's like hard pan with those yeah. slick leaves on top of it. Definitely. That was a good putt. I know these guys have more experience than me, but in my experience down the stretch, you know, when all the scores are close like this and then you kind of make that bogey or that whatever or your competition goes birdie and gets up, you know, Parker's three back right now. You know, for me, once you realize you can't win, it's like, oh, it's, like it's just another setback and you kind of lo can lose your groove if you don't focus up and, uh, you know, remember what you're, you know, you're, you're still battling for caches and, and yeah. money. Um, Try to hold on to that top five or that. We're all here for the win, but or... it can get weird when you realize you don't win. All right, Matt's got the tee here on the number 18, 280 foot, par three. Kind of plays as an island. Um, the left side of the cart path is all safe. And then once you get on the right side, it turns into a bit of an island. It's an elevated basket up there by the pickleball courts. I like the this the kind of straight to hyzer play that just pins into the uh the hillside back there yeah it's something like you said the safer play because that's all mm -hmm. inbounds whereas if you're was it? left and, and short of the basket you could be ob so mm -hmm. just hyzering forward 
is definitely the, the safest play, especially if you have a, a one-stroke lead going into the yeah. final hole. Yeah, Matt put that on the green. He actually needs uh, the birdie putt to uh, for the win. Is that right? Yeah, James went ahead and birdied his last three holes for the last five, and uh, he's 21 down. So he's in the clubhouse at 21. Correct. That's Great a shot pass. there by Raven. Looks like he went with a little midi. Put it to about 18 feet. Parker also reaching what looks like to be a mid-range. Wow. That might be the best shot that we've ever seen yeah. this week. That's a good way to that's a good way to cap it off. Josh, three back of Matt. Just needs to put this close. And he is close. Right. Could we see a star frame right now on the, the final hole? Possibly. I get yeah. So Matt's putting for the win and putting for first. Or putting first, I should say. Um, this yeah, is he for can't, the win. He can't lay up. He has to make this. He can lay up if he wants to go to a playoff. Yeah. <laughs> I think he wants to make this. Oh! Yeah, there's a fist pump. He knows it. Yes. Matt Bell, wow. the 2024 Auburn Open, eight-year champion. It was good for him. These guys work super hard. So winning any tournament, especially it's close like this, everybody's good. Nice tournament, Matt. Good luck up there in Oregon. Raven for a birdie. That. We'll put Raven in the solo third place. Parker uh, with that putt there. And Josh's birdie. They tie for fourth. All right, that's going to wrap up our coverage, guys. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe. All your, everything helps. Here's our final leaderboard. Proctor with a hot 10 down, can't run down Matt Bell, loses by wow. a stroke. Nice shooting Proctor. Avi Gomez up there in eighth place. Dustin Evanger, 10th place, couple of NorCal guys mixed in with all your uh, your pros. Jake Brown out of San Clemente in sixth. Good shooting, guys. Uh, shout out to Ridge Merkley, our catch cam guy all weekend, for coming out and grinding. He's living in Utah now, working hard. He was in town for the weekend and spent it doing this. Jason Tutalman, who runs Premium Disc Golf, thank you, sir. Having us in, always a pleasure. Over and out. Peace out.